Hello, beautiful Virgo. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Virgo, I have a little bit of a an extra bonus read here for you for the Valentine's upcoming celebration. And you might think whatever you think about that day, but I wanted to um, just give you a little bit extra, but maybe not in the boy meets girl type of fashion, but rather what your heart wants you to know right now. Uh, we ask your our spirit guides, we ask everyone around us for you know inspiration, for guidance and whatever. Uh, and I figured let's just sort of dive into what the heart wants to say right now because the heart has a lot to say. And before we start, I just want to say um, I have a very special Valentine's offer coming up. So if you don't know already by now, I don't only uh, offer video readings, but I do offer um, automatic writing, like sitting in sort of a trans meditative state mode. Uh, to bring through some answers and I get the answers through the automatic writing where you can ask your guides literally anything uh, or healing and, and I've written everything about it in in the community section and <laughs> a little a little thing you need to be a subscriber actually I just found out you need to be a subscriber in order to be able to read in the community so it's not in the comment section down below it's in the community section um, and I wasn't trying to fish for that in the beginning, but I just learned as I went that, you know, people can't read anything there unless they're subscribing. So please subscribe to the channel while you're at it. It's a win-win at least for me. <laughs> okay. Um, if you don't want to go in there for whatever reason, send me a message through my email and the email is in the description box. Okay. Okay. What does your heart want you to know for Virgo here, please? Just a short little heartfelt message for Virgo. Find balance is the first that comes out. And was it what I... No, it wasn't. Opportunity beckons. I think we had Leo with opportunity beckons. And then find balance with a wheel of fortune there. We're going to see what that says. I'm actually going to read from the book. Find balance, Virgo. That's what your heart is telling you. Keywords of this card is cope, multitask, breathe, and arbitrate. Uh, you may find that matters of the heart require extra effort at this time. More and more demands may be placed on you. Uh, requiring you to juggle your attention. Family gatherings, school commitments, re requests for assistance, and other obligations that may arise within a short period of time. Just breathe and remember to be flexible. Adapt your approach to each situation at hand. Know that you have the ability to keep everything and everyone in balance. You may also be called upon to play the role of a mediator. This is a time for compassion and understanding, and you are up to the task. Work with people individually, giving each position equal consideration. Help all involved to understand another viewpoint and find middle ground. Finally, in order to maintain balance, you yourself must be in balance. So it's vital that you take time for you, Virgo. It's vital that you take time for you. So there might be a lot of things, like you just feel like you're like just juggling a lot of things at once right now. And if that's the case, to just know that it is a Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you, you see how much like speed, or rather the other way, the, how much speed it has. It really has picked up momentum. So, and that's usually what happens. Like when you really are truly stepping into your heart and when you're finding more balance in your life, that you're gonna become more of a magnet everyone sort of wants a piece of you and that's okay but it might be a little bit overwhelming at times so it's like it's really important for you to um, put your foot down like set clear boundaries and find that balance within yourself and really connect with your heart at this time number two is also uh, about balance numerology wise there uh, i do get the wheel of fortune there that like there's also momentum picking up that you really really like so this could also be like a practice of 
Okay, this is the situation I'm dealing with now. So you need just to be 100% uh, present. It's about ca it's calling you to be just really present in the here and now moment. So, excuse me, if you're sort of, um, you're dealing with a person, you're talking to a person, you're writing something, you're emailing people, you're doing something around your business, you know, whatever, to just not be elsewhere in your mind as you're interacting with someone or something. When you're doing, when you're writing this email, that's all that matters. When you're talking to this person, that's all that matters. To sort of almost lock yourself into this space-time, space-time continuum um, where almost when it feels like this is so over overwhelming, we have a tendency to feel like time is slipping away or like there's not enough time to sort of deal with everything at once. But I find that the more present and the more in the, in the moment of what you're doing that you are, time sort of seems to expand. And that's when you sort of, that's when you're in the present moment and, and not being elsewhere at all. And it benefits you and it, it benefits the person that you're with. And then we have opportunity beckons. But there's so many things, like we have momentum starting to pick up here and there's so many things that wants to come your way, it's giving a little bit of a shout out that you need to sort of a uh, little bit pay attention, maybe get a little bit more um, centered. Number four, there is a heart matter. So that fits beautiful here with this heart message that your heart wants you to know to be more centered, heart centered. And let's read about this one. Green. Feels like I have a sneeze coming up. Keywords, boredom, disillusion, vigilance, and action. Often in affairs of the heart, you may become complacent, even bored when you, with what you have. You forget to see the magic of your interactions with others and fail to, in, to invest time and effort to maintain the human loving link. If you've been looking for a relationship for some time without success, you may become disillusioned or dis discouraged, no longer believing that a relationship will manifest. So that's obviously for the single ones out there. Uh, your enthusiasm diminishes and you no longer provide the universe with the energy needed to produce the relationship. Uh, the same is true of struggling too long to improve an existing relationship. What? Oh, yeah, there's complacency, there's boredom, there's um, lack of energy flow. If you have been in a, if there's an existing relationship that you're trying to improve and it sort of doesn't come to fruition, that that can be, that can be a struggle and that can be exhausting as well. And maybe you got that, I just didn't get it. Um, now, is it now is not the time for complacency. This is your opportunity to attain what you've been seeking or to improve what you have. It requ requires vigilance, action, and enthusiasm. Lift your spirits and look for the opportunity that will present itself, then act. So just feel with this message that it like, because it's a, they're a little bit, um, what is that called? Counter in, it's not intuitive. Counterintuitive, is that what you say? Like they work a little bit against each other, I feel. Because this is like we have really started to pick up momentum. It's asking though to, for you to be more balanced, like to find more balance within. Like you could have a little bit of a scattered energy because a lot of people want to have a little, a little piece of you. Um, but this feels more like you are more centered and you know where you're going. And this is a little bit more like we don't have that enthusiasm right now. I'm not saying you should be like on fire all day long every day, but there's something to be said here about um, coming into a more passionate and enthusiastic place for what you actually have in your life and to get start to get a little bit more excited. If you're actually looking for a relationship, um, your heart is asking you to get a little bit more excited about it because in the boredom or in the discouragement or in the feeling of the lack there's nothing to gain there's nothing to attract if that makes sense so just really step into that beautiful heart of yours 
and find that balance within and allow for the momentum to pick up spa space, pick up pace um, as much as it wants and for you to then practice just either if you feel like you're on the side where you need to practice to just be more present in the present moment, like when you're doing what you're doing, that's all you're doing and everything else has to wait or everything else, you're going to take care of that later. Uh, if you're on the other side of that, you feel boredom, you feel like the, it's almost like a little bit of a stagnant energy here. Uh, and you might feel both of these, like you might have actually these both vibrations active. So it's like either a little bit overwhelming or it's like a little bit boring, like it's too slow. Uh, we want to find a happy medium. We want to find the, the balance in between. And I think you're doing a good job at, at doing that. Okay. That is what your heart wants you to know at this time. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.